Hi, in this video we're going to see how we can create a new folder. We do that by right clicking on the desktop and choosing the first option. New folder. To get started we'll go to the shared UI module and import the context menu module from PrimeNG. We need to add it to the exports array. We hit save and then we will use the Angular file extension to generate a new component. We are going to name this component context menu and then we will delete this file that ends with .spec. We are going to move on to the context menu component and first we want to set the change detection strategy to unpush. Then we get rid of this ng on init method and the on init lifecycle as we are not going to need them. We will define a field called target and it will be of type any. And then we will have the items array of the type menu items that comes from the prime ng API. And in here we will have an object with a field label and I'm going to just type new folder here and it also has a command field. From here we basically want to send some information to the store but we first need to import it and so I will inject it into the constructor and we will call add new folder on store. This method doesn't exist yet so we have to click on the declare method and then I'm just going to move it down to where other methods are located. So here I want to first get the milliseconds from the current date time and that's what I'm going to use as an ID. Like a unique identifier for the folders because every folder needs to have it. So then I'm going to create a new folder and the ID will be just this milliseconds variable that we just created and the title will be the random string. We are going to reuse this milliseconds variable and I want to set this parent folder ID to zero which is basically an ID of a desktop. And then just like before we call the set state and we want to set the folders here. So we first spread the existing folders and pass this new folder into it. Then we hit save and in the desktop component we want to use the app context menu component but it's not showing up and the reason is that we haven't exported it and declared it in the shared module. So now it shows up and here we also want to set the target input to the desktop and the desktop will be just the reference variable. Now we want to add the context menu template and it's going to use the p context menu from PrimeNG. Here we will also set this target property to whatever the target input field is and we need to set the model property and that is our items array. Then in the browser if I right click on the desktop I see this option new folder and the folders are being created so this works. Now I will just add a couple of more commands like get info, change desktop background, use text and, and show you options. These commands won't do anything if you click on them but it just looks nicer. Now I want to add the style class to the p context menu so we can override the styles for this component. So we're going to go to the prime ng override CSS and here we'll just set the font size and font weight properties. So here is our context menu component. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe not to miss the next one where we will be building a finder component. Thank you for watching.